guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna give a good rundown on this uh, Truco 360DS. There's a few videos out there already that talk about it. I'm gonna give my take on it, tell you if it's worth a damn. I'll tell you right now, yes, this thing is awesome. I'm replacing a traditional, uh, regular Wagner Flexio painter that just can't handle the thick stuff without watering it down. This thing, airless, handles whatever you throw at it. So let me give you the basic rundown of how you work this thing. You basically leave the cup and everything intact. This is my second day of use with it. Just as a disclaimer, this was a brand new uh, gun yesterday. So what you're basically doing here is you unscrew this, you leave this in place. This simply pops off like that for cleaning. I have some a uh, little bit of uh, water in here uh, from the last cleaning yesterday. This is how it basically sets the entire time. When you're reloading, you set it on the floor like that. When you're reloading the paint, you simply fill it just like this. So give a couple of little final mixes here of my paint and I'll give you the rundown quickly so you guys can make an educated decision. Fill it up with paint about to there, nice and full. Simply take this and you wanna balance this in the bottom of your hand like any other regular sprayer you're filling up and you just twist this on. Now they give you these little arrows here. Most of the time they'll line up. Sometimes if you, depending on where you start twisting it, they won't, just get it nice and snug. You know, it doesn't have to be super tight. You flip this little cap up with the machine sitting here and you just squeeze and it'll hiss. And then it'll kind of shoot a little bit of water out like that. Just cap it. Now what it's done is it's created a suction in here. So then all you're gonna have to do now is prime it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that window taped up, show you how you prime it, show you how it lays down paint. You guys can make a decision whether or not you wanna buy one. I, you're probably gonna want one. So what you do is you switch it into prime. Spray. You can see that thing just runs. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this window just to kind of show you the spray pattern. You guys can make up your mind if you like it or not. Nice and even all the way down, sprayers on high. This thing is awesome. So this is just gonna be a basic rundown video for you guys. I'm gonna get a little footage of me spraying here. I'm gonna throw my respirator on. I like to run with uh, full face in here. Uh, with the organic vapor cartridges. I don't want to breathe this crap in, so I'm gonna throw that on, do a little spray footage, and then you guys can be the judge. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let's see, watch some paint footage.
All right, guys, it's time to clean the sprayer and practical cleaning. Right now we got power hooked up to it. I got a hose here with some crazy garden attachment. And basically, first thing I'm gonna do, unscrew this off, try to minimize the impact of this crap getting in the ground. I'm gonna use this bucket. Sorry for the dogs. This is real life. So the first thing I'm gonna do, rinse all this crap out. So from here, you can put your pump armor in it if you want to. Um, you could store it up for a while. You can also do a deeper cleaning. I'm not gonna do that in this video right now because I'm gonna be painting again with it tomorrow. But that's when you can take off this bottom piece, clean your strainer, take this apart, uh, kind of clean in there, really clean your tips. But that's just a basic cleaning to get it to where you can put it um, away for a week, a couple days, etc. So hopefully that helps you guys out. All right, guys, so before I close the video off, I want to just go through some of the basic functions of this thing in case I didn't cover them in the uh, demonstration. There's only a couple of settings on here that you need to know about. Low speed. High speed. This is spray when it points this way. This is prime. You can change the fan of the spray from horizontal. vertical regular spray is when the tip points forward to clear a clog you would reverse it turn it back there's an extra tip on board four inch spray pattern 12 inch spray pattern side is the primer this is the thing that you're flipping up and down all the time when you squeeze to get all the air out of the thing and then another thing I want to note before I close the video off, when I was watching videos on this thing, I was wondering, these bag, it looked like a bag, these things. But really, it's a cup with a real, real, real thin plastic. So it does have some rigidity to it. No one really kind of showed that in the video. And they are washable and reusable, so you don't have to just keep buying new bags. That's one of the big questions. The way it works is this little top ridge seats against this taper on the Graco master canister and that's what creates an airtight seal when it threads up into this thing here 
You can also see there's a little white gasket in here, a rubberized gasket. You're gonna wanna keep paint free. So a little bit more cleaning on this thing and I'll be good to put it up. But like I did mention, this blue usually does line up on the arrows, but sometimes if it just doesn't thread just right, it'll kind of bypass it. Right now I'm getting lucky, but sometimes you'll be over here or over here. So just the trick is, is you just kind of let that, you'll feel that rubber kind of grip when you tighten it up, so. I want to just show some footage of what this thing lays down and get a good idea of how even it does lay paint down. It is very, 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 and I'm moving the light around back here. Very good. I could have done some more sanding on these boards, but I'm done. It is good enough for me. So as good as you can sand and prep, this thing will keep up with you 100%. You can see the coverage is even. There's no overspray spots anywhere. This is getting one more coat of paint, I believe. To let this dry overnight but it is worth every bit of the two hundred dollars you're going to spend on it between two hundred dollars and 170 dollars on amazon you're going to spend i will put links down below where you can buy one of these i'll put an amazon affiliate link i'll get like a couple pennies if you use my link to buy it on amazon it is a game changer. And like I said, I went from a, a Wagner Flexio, as far as my little handheld stuff goes, over to this. I know the air sprayers do have their, uh, their purpose in life, so I'm not saying this is gonna 100% replace your, your traditional air sprayer, but I mean, as good as my prep work is, as, as good as this paint is gonna lay down. You spend a lot of time prepping this paint, this sprayer will make you look good. Guarantee it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll get you in the next video. Later.